I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Abnormal Tutorial. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how to learn your first one-arm push-up. This is a cool move you can show off to your friends, use as a party trick, and uh, you can learn it pretty easily at the beginning stages of your training. So, before you even start learning the one-arm push-up, get comfortable with regular push-ups. I would say around 20 or 30 reps, knock them out in a row. Once you can do that, you can then move on to diamond push-ups. After that, archer push-ups. So each push-up progression is leading on to a harder variation and it's going to require you to use a lot more strength. So with this archer push-up, again, you're emphasizing more stress on one arm. Clap push-ups are another way to build explosive power in order to achieve the one arm push-up. And again, if you incline your push-ups to so have one hand on a parallel, you're going to emphasize and focus a lot of your strength on one arm. So you want to make sure that you keep your elbows tucked in. You don't want your elbows flared out. This is just going to make sure that you require and gain that tricep strength, which is needed. By placing your hand behind your back and holding a plank position on one arm, you're really focusing on conditioning that core to hold your body upright in that plank position because you need a lot of core strength for the one arm push up. Again, you don't want your body to dip or you don't want it to, have to be too high. You just want it to be nice, level and straight. Another good progression you can do are push-ups but you're bringing your knee to your elbow each time. So this twist as well is really important for the one-arm push-up. If you notice when you come down you, you, tw you tend to twist your torso. This is, this is just training that uh, motion of twisting. As you get stronger you won't need to twist your torso as much and as you can see here I'm performing just half repetitions of the one-arm push-up. So again you want to focus on really pressing from that one arm, building that tricep strength and try and go as low as possible without falling to the ground. <laughs> the next progression would be negative one arm push ups. Now make sure that you have enough strength for this, try and go down as low as possible because otherwise the ground's going to punch you in the face. <laughs> now I choose to place my hand behind my back but if it's more comfortable for you, placing your hand on the, your leg is also a good alternative. Once you're comfortable with one arm negative push ups, you're then going to spread your legs as wide as possible and then you're going to come down but twist your torso. This is going to take away from the core element of the one arm push up so it'll be easy on the core, you'll still feel it in your triceps but as you can see from a bare angle, you're twisting out and um, this puts less stress on your core and it will make the movement a bit easier for you. Foot placement is really important if you want to achieve the one arm push up. So to start off with, you want to have a wide straddled um, stance and then as you get stronger, bring your legs in closer and closer until eventually you can do the one arm push up with virtually your feet touching. And again, you want to make sure that you're able to do it on both arms. So you don't want to just have one strong arm while the other one's weak. You can get that another way. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, just work it on both arms. Well, that was the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to comment, like, share, most importantly subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next week with another video. Peace.